clean it up, the uh, uh, big oil spill in the Gulf, you know, last year. We have to, we have to convert to clean energy and keep our planet clean.
Keystone Pipeline's got to go. This is the third time I participated in demonstrations against the Keystone uh, XL Pipeline and the tar sands, also involved in fracking issues in New Jersey, uh, around tr fracking around the Delaware River. So I, I want to make a difference for not only for myself and for for uh, people who are living today, but for the future, for my grandchildren, and uh, all the young people today. You can see so many young people here today that uh, this, it's too, it may be too late already, but we have to do something to try to, to stop uh, the increase in pollution. And uh, we need to also change our habits uh, around using fossil fuel. fuel uh, we have uh, have solar paneling now on our house and and try to conserve as much as we can. But you know we're caught up in the system, we're dependent on fossil fuels ourselves. We, even though we have they have a car that uh, you have a Prius, but we we still use oil, we still use gas, and uh, trying to reduce our carbon footprint is is not easy. But uh, we do what we can, and we. Try this is one action that I just felt I had to be part of today. Hey Obama, get off the golf course! Hey Obama, get on the right course! Hey Obama, get off the golf course! Hey Obama, get on the right course! Hey Obama, get off the golf course! Hey Obama, get on the right course! the white hat. I'm concerned about the health issues that relate to fracking, that relate to um, fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, but moreover, just um, the depletion of of the environment and I would like toxicologists and oncologists to get involved in the conversation so they can basically show how toxins right now are leading to more cancer because that's not part of the cancer conversation right now and I hate to say it but once people realize their children are getting sick from this then how can you how can you deny what's happening? How can you destroy biodiversity? How can fracking also people are losing their farmland up in New York and no one's defending them? Basically companies like Halliburton are going into New York, dumping chemicals into the water, they're buying farmlands, they're not paying the people back for their farmlands, and lawyer and they can't afford lawyers. And the toxins go into New York City waterland like yeah. people are getting sick and the, 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 the best part is is once these chemicals go into the water you can't actually isolate the issues everyone can be involved in climate change it's a human issue um, it's a community issue it's for everybody um, it's a health issue it's a basics it's basic we're fighting for our basic right like why should we have to fight for the right not to get cancer why should we fight for the right to preserve our biodiversity it's pretty simple, you know, and it's um, it's been, you know, Leopold, he's been writing about it. This has been 60 years of research and compiled to 40,000 people here today. So, I mean, this isn't like an accident. This is like, this is...
The idea is to let President Obama know that we don't want Canadian tar stains to be sent to the United States because they are the probably, according to uh, James Hansen of uh, NASA, that tar sands equal game over for the planet because the amount of carbon dioxide that uh, tar sands will emit will be about twice as much as the planet can handle. And so the protest is to stop the pipeline so that uh, we don't have that problem, which is not going to be our problem, but our grandchildren's problem. And already we have almost 400 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the air, and we'll, which will take about 10,000 years before we can get rid of it. Uh, and the more we put in, the longer it's going to take, and the more our children and grandchildren are going to pay the price for it. Barack Obama, who I think all of us voted here, probably everybody at the, uh, the gathering here, probably voted for him as well. But we want to make sure he gets the message that the American people and the Canadian people uh, and of all walks of life are against this pipeline. And it may be a short-term solution, but it's a long-term disaster. So my name is Gavin U. Pritchard, and this is my wife, Dana McGuire. We come from Northeast Missouri. We have read James Hansen, uh, Dr. James Hansen, who is our leading climate scientist in this country, who said that if the um, Keystone pipeline goes forward, it's game over for our climate. There's way too much carbon deposits there. If that all goes into the atmosphere, uh, we're going to go into extreme temperature changes within this century. And we need to uh, really s draw a firm line and say that we're, we're not interested in having that oil come through our country now before it becomes a, a moneyed interest and people are speculating and there's a whole bunch of money invested in it, then the companies have a financial uh, requirement to, to carry through and, and sell that carbon. And we need it to stay in the ground. It's destructive to the environment up in Canada and it's going to be destructive to our whole planet if they are allowed to do this. Come on, Noah. Don't wrestle with polar bears. I got you. I got you. Okay. <laughs>